Hi there, welcome back. Today we're doing episode number 10, season 3 of Superstore. It's called High Volume Store. I don't know what that could be. The last one was really good. They were out of the store and it was what, the Golden Globes party night, right? At Amy's place, a disaster. And it ended with Jonah and Kelly. Well, Jonah going off with Kelly with the group to have a night out and yeah, leaving Amy on the doorstep. And then Amy returning and Dean was there having just had a shower because she'd vomited everywhere all over herself and I think done the other thing as well. Um, yeah, that was a really good one. So yeah, we're going to get to it. Jerusha has an abnormally shaped uterus, which will prevent her from getting pregnant. So if any of you know any women who might like to carry our baby, oh, surrogate. you know, let me know. Not the time or the place, Glenn. Thank you for that warm reception. I mean, oh. you're here a lot. True. Today's yeah, not about is. me, though. It's about something big. He's almost full time, Jeff. Us. Is it your forehead? No. Hi, <laughs> Mateo. Um, sales are up this quarter. We are within $80,000 of reclassification. If we can make that by the end of the day, we will go from being a triple A store to a. Oh, okay. <laughs> See where I'm going? No. We're going to be a high volume store. Woo! Huh? Sounds like more hours to work to me. If a woman's <laughs> uterus is normally shaped like a V, Jerusha's is kind <laughs> of like a face. corkscrew. Believe me, you guys are going to love this. So do we get anything or? Yes, Definitely get a sense not. of pride, a sense of accomplishment. More hours. Quad A stores are the first to feature new products. Once they take our cafeteria and transfer it into a Pizza Hut, there's going to be people- Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say Pizza Hut? Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have started like with that, Jeff. Famous or something? Uh, point of <laughs> clarification, Jeff. Would it have the soda too? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> he doesn't know them very well, does he, Jeff? Oh gosh. <laughs> Glenn's got to be the most inappropriate boss ever. Give me the marker, cause someone just made a thousand dollars sale. It seems odd that Jeff waited until today to tell us about all this, and he was selling it Even so Jonah. hard. Believe me, you're gonna love it. There's a quad A in Crestwood. We could. Go over there at lunch, check it I out, maybe just to be safe. This never goes well, does it, when they visit another spot? Well, done it once, I think, but. Hey, keep your eye on the prize. Okay? Keep your eyes on the prize. Is it? <laughs> you know, I honestly didn't know how many candidates we'd get from a Craigslist ad. Oh my god. He's interviewing for surrogates at work. It could be as much as $50,000, but we've only wow. saved 20, really? of which we can only give you 15. It's not a problem. Sorry, I meant 10. That's low, so. Okay, no, 15, 15, 15, we agree on 15. Great. Right. <laughs> what does 4K mean? Oh, um, the first K four Ks. is knowledge. Oh, and then the second K. 4K televisions have 8.3 megapixels. The human eye is literally incapable of appreciating a finer resolution than this. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> it Don't has worry, all Kelly. of the channels. <laughs> it all counts towards Pizza Hut. Your American Express business card. Yep. And you don't have an ID with you. Left at the office. And you'd like to purchase an Xbox One and a pile of candy. This is dad's card or something. What kind of business are you in? Oil and gas. You know, if it was me, I might pick up a second Xbox, have one upstairs, have one downstairs. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're a good dad, Mr. Marquardt. <laughs> oh god. Apples aren't really going to contribute, are they? Picture of me celebrating with everybody to send a corporate. Why is Got it? Go it? Got it. Hey, now let's talk dancers. Things are pretty much going to be the same. Well, but earlier you said it would be better. Yes, obviously better. Better and the, the pizza same. Home. Nice. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Believe me. It's going to be great. Trust me. Man. What's he hiding I from? I can't wait for it to be great. So I can have a baby for you in as little as a week. A week? Oh, is that too long? I mean, if you're, if you're really impatient, I can get you one earlier, but you're not going to get to choose the color. What the fuck? You guys are going to have a killer baby. Everyone's going to want to carry it. Yeah, right. Would you? Of course I would. No, oh, no. Really? You mean no, that? No, Glenn. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Jerusha, this is oh, a no. blessed day. Cheyenne's going to do it, isn't she, as well? Oh god. Cheyenne can't say no. Can I ask you a question? Oh, sure. Do you like working here? I love working here. It's the best job I've ever had. They're going straight Great. to the source. Thank you. The have info. a happy day. All right. What's, uh, what's the worst part of your job? 
No part. It's wonderful. It's the best job I've ever had. Have a heavenly day. Have they all been briefed to give this kind of answer? How long have you been working here? Well, it's been the best job I've ever had for yeah. about four and a half years. <laughs> what kind of regime are they running here? Have a heavenly day. <laughs> People love it here. Obviously. Cloud Nine robots. <laughs> she wanted something she could work with. Could you profile? Diane, tell him now. Don't let it get too out of hand. It just means so much to us that you're willing to do this. It means so much to me. <laughs> Cheyenne. I, I wouldn't be offended. Cheyenne, do you still want to do this? Oh, <laughs> Say no. <laughs> Cheyenne, that was Definitely. your chance. You just, you know, try and stop me. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely won't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. thing is... Is it Bo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's full. If it were up to me, I would just say, you put a baby in me right now, mister. <laughs> yeah. But Bo, he just sucks, you know? <laughs> he sucks. Bo sucks. <laughs> Bo kind of owes him one. He signed those papers for that place, right? Uh, hey. Hey, look. Len, I'm, I'm Jonah. Exhilarated working here. How's it going today? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> mm-hmm. No pizza hut's worth this. You guys aren't supposed to be back here. Relax, we're legit. <laughs> like a cop. What's it like? Be straight with me. Polo to polo. Honestly, you're screwed. <laughs> they are yeah. open 24 hours, yeah. which means they never have a chance to catch up. So when do they have time to clean? Guys, <laughs> we've come too far. We are this close to quad A. Now's not the time They to... don't let employees eat the pizza. Withdraw. So what do we do? <laughs> we need to slow down sales. Yeah, they're gonna have to put their customers off. There he is. <laughs> Why don't we all go have a chat, you know, and see if we can't change it. Bo's gonna be so confused. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Oh, he's gonna ask him for money, isn't he? You know. Huh? <laughs> oh no. He's gonna agree to this. Glenn pays him. Yeah, I called you and I was like, please, Bo, let me have Glenn's baby. <laughs> I was genuinely thinking, did she? Way I remember it, that never happened at all. Funny how perception is. The way I remember it. <laughs> but, but is there anything that Cheyenne and I can say to help you change your mind? Mm, I don't know. It's like thinking about my wife banging an old couple. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no it works. I gotta go with Jerusha? <laughs> I, I accept your decision and well, I'm disappointed, you know. I respect that you guys won't change your morals for a measly $20,000. Yeah, here we go. 20 grand? <laughs> Yo, for 20 grand, you can stick whatever you want in either of us. <laughs> Kelly, you're on register. Oh, I've never done that before. Oh, I know you're going to be so bad at it. Yeah. Marcus, yes, you just float. I want the customers to feel like you're everywhere. Nice. <laughs> yeah. MVP. Someone to run interference on Jeff. Just keep them occupied with stories that are boring that no one would ever care about. I... Will do my best to act like somebody who does that. You don't start yourself. I mean, you're brutal. Tina, he knows what he is. <laughs> this is a chance for this store to become bigger, to become more. But if we work together, we can stop that from happening. <laughs> I think Marcus is the only one that's needed, honestly. <laughs> exactly. Nope. Not that one. I mean, maybe it was just who we are collectively as a nation. <laughs> Poor Jeff. This one, I'm gonna say, ego lie. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Woo! Not today, bro. <laughs> Marcus is gonna get fired again if he's not careful. I gotta get back in there, okay? No, wait, no, no, no. How long has it been? I am here if you ever want to talk. What about his midlife crisis? <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> oh, you, you would, yeah. Uh, he's hit the target here. Jeff just wanted to talk about himself. That doesn't look good on you. On the other hand, what would? Did we hit our goal? Wait, what? Guys, this has to be a mistake. We're like thousands under. I couldn't stop him. Hell yeah! Oh, Pyrus we, bought we, that we, for, with the 20 grand. <laughs> like we always dreamed of. It's gonna be like living in a Holiday Inn Express. We can't oh afford my a God. hot tub. We got 20 grand now. That's literally an infinite amount of money. No returns. So what does that mean? <laughs> We're officially quad A. May God have mercy on us all. <laughs> Cheyenne, do you really want to do this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm really happy about it. Come on, Glenn. Deal's off. No, I, I can do it. I don't want you to. 
because I don't want my baby carried by a huge stinker like you. I'm a stinker? <laughs> You're a fat bitch. Oh, wait. You're being nice. No, I'm not being nice. I'm being mean. And, and I don't want a, a big stinky baby from a big stinker like <sighs> you. Get out of my office. You're stinking up the place. Pee you. Ugh. <laughs> go, go take a bath and some tomatoes. <laughs> Finally, Glenn read the situation. We were so close. I just got to say, it's been a privilege taking breaks with you guys. <laughs> There'll be no time for breaks now. How do you get money stains off your hands? What are you talking about? You know how when you handle money, the ink comes off on your hands? Oh, is it? Fake. Another counterfeit. So they did hit their target after all. There's Almost so being fast enough fake notes. We're not quad A. We <laughs> did it. <laughs> Actually, we didn't make quad A. What? I can't go home, Jonah. I'm I'm I bought a Subaru. One week. No discipline. I was so close to having a baby. <laughs> you want to be my surrogate? The idea of carrying your child makes me want to put a bullet through my uterus. I was joking. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to carry my baby if you paid me the 20000 Wait, you're paying $20,000? <laughs> Just for someone to squirt out your kid? Well, yeah, Don't tell me. More. Theta. I mean, <laughs> that's practically what I take home in a year. I could fix up my house, pay off my credit card bills. I could put my mom away for good with money like that. Well, I what? mean, I could think about it. I mean, if you were interested, then I would think about it. It's not something I want. Oh, I would want it far less. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. It would be great to have a practice, baby, where nothing matters. A practice, baby. Wait, wait, no, like, okay. whatever happens to it, happens to it, you know? They're backing out now, Glenn. <laughs> yeah, that was a good ending. I'm happy that Glenn finally realised what was going on, that Cheyenne didn't want his baby. I say that, I actually think he's done it before, right? He did it, was it the finale of season one? After Cheyenne had had a baby and she was worried about how she's going to look after it, then got her paid um, leave, right? We got to see Jeff falling apart. That was interesting with his midlife crisis. And now it's financial crisis by the sounds of it. Overall, I thought the episode was a little bit kind of fillery, um, other than the ending with Glenn and Dina. And they've agreed to it now. Looks like Glenn wants to back out. But yeah, Dina wants her test baby. <laughs> My God. Yeah. So overall, it was all right. It was all right. It wasn't the best one. Um, but I'm going to do another one tonight. So we'll see how that one goes. So yeah, hopefully you'll join me for that one. See you then. See ya. Bye.